Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Why? 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 No. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Incoherent Ramblings. This is episode... 49, correct? Yes. 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 49, 49. 49. 49, yes. And we're doing it on words to the Y's. Y spelled W-H-Y-S. We're going to ask all the Y questions we should know the answers to, but don't. I'm your host, Joey Sham. We also have... Paul Hollinger. Kale Anderson. Daryl George. And today's sponsor is going to be Mindy from Buttons and Mindy. No, 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 no. No, not that Mindy. From uh, Animaniacs. So she always said, why? Why? Because I said so. Damn okay, it. Good. So we're going to be asking all the questions. The subtopics today, which I'm prepared for uh, <laughs> Paul's phone, will be intro to the whys, what they are. Then we're going to look into kid questions, biology questions. <laughs> hey, biology hey, questions what? to the sequel. Uh, social questions. Yes. Social questions to the sequel, the bigger picture. Then we each will have a question that we have not shared with the rest of the group that we will ask the why. And discuss or thought of thought of and, and uh, might I add just in the intro here that um, I intentionally didn't look up very many of these so probably during the show as we're answering things we'll Whoops. you know give it a little look up and say like hey this is the like what science has to say about this but I kind of want to <coughs> you know, this is our research? this is our opinion today just like <laughs> today <usual. laughs> hey, okay it's never our opinion I'm over we, here, I'm I, over here. Discreetly wiping my nose, thinking I don't want to make any noise. <laughs> and and I'm like, oh, oh shit. your nose on camera. By the way, this is our <laughs> this is our our third <laughs> attempt <laughs> to make video, <laughs> make make <laughs> stupid <laughs> video. I don't know if that's such a good idea anymore. <laughs> the first yep. attempt to make video was a complete disaster, like most attempts to make it f- the first time. Uh, and <laughs> you're so <laughs> you a good fast. One, man. <laughs> yeah, and then the, uh, the last one was pretty good. So we still don't know. We'll see how it turns out. So hi world, hi, uh, we're have, on the TV. I have good feelings for it, other than the fact that's our faces. Oh, hey, what was that? All right, you can always reach it. I thought we weren't going to time the beginning anymore. Oh, we weren't. Oh, maybe we were. No, we weren't. Uh, okay, fine. And I forgot to warn you anyway. So. That's okay. Uh, okay we, we, we'll, we'll start over. So um, start the time so. after we do the pre yeah, ramble. Yeah, after the ramble. Yeah, right, okay. Whatever. Uh, so uh, remember, you can always reach us at imrambling.com. Please email us. Please, we know you're out there. So if we get things Thank factually you. wrong, don't string us yeah. up by our toes. I mean, we're, <laughs> no, go we're going off the cuff here. No, that's okay. So. And comment on our pages, any right. of them, for whatever reason. Just send an email and you know, suggestions. Just call, comment on Facebook. We want to know you're there. Yo. Yeah. All right, so let's get going on the pre <laughs> I really want to hear some echo on that, Derek. Come on, echo. echo. Maybe next time. All right. All right, so uh, my section is, of course, Vert to Vert. Is that Mork? Mork, Mork, Mork. And Mindy. Mindy, Mindy, Mindy. Today's is going to be a special one because we are doing Y, so it's going to be Vert to Vert. Which I'm. Oh, oh now you fun. get it. It's not. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, so. I didn't, I didn't. My Vita Ferk is just going to be stupid why questions that I just got off the what internet, but I like some of them. Like, uh, why did. Oh, why does the pizza get to the house faster than an ambulance? Eh, it's not that good. I like this one, though. Why does Tarzan. Why doesn't Tarzan have a beard? Ah, yeah. he shaves with all those sharp stones. <laughs> yes. in the jungle. This was uh, our. Uh, this was Booger. For those of you who are our uh, fans of Incoherent Ramblings, Booger, who used to be on this, uh, and may <laughs> someday be again, Mr. was Man. why are they called apartments when they're all stuck together? Ah, <laughs> why do banks leave their doors open but chain pens to their counter? Ah. Are you just gonna read off all the whys we don't get to? We're not answering these. No, these, these are, these are rhetorical. Silly. These are like silly like, rhetorical. Because I actually know the reason for Tarzan. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I've read Go. all of the books. Go. Okay, why? I want to know. What so is, is that in the, where his parents had died, he found in there the razors, oh. and he actually looked at the pictures, and so he wanted to be like his father. Oh, and he very so cool. cool. Uh, Those razors lasted a long time. So then why time. did George of the Jungle not have a big beard? Oh, <laughs> uh, because he... Because he, he was a, was a cartoon. Copy of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. uh, why do we press harder <laughs> on the remote when we know the batteries are dead? Uh, uh, seriously, I yeah. totally do that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a good one. 
Why is it that when you're in a foreign country and someone doesn't understand what you're saying, you just say it louder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why is laundry direct to deaf people too? Why is laundry oh, so yeah, popular yeah, yeah. if love is blind? Because <laughs> there's some ugly bitches out there. Um, <laughs> no way that didn't. Well, all I heard was oh. ugly bitches. What the hell was that? Why uh, is laundry so popular? Oh, <laughs> and if love is blind, yeah. <laughs> That's enough. Let's yeah. move on to. I need oh, this. Oh, you need your phone. <laughs> my phone is filming. We'll my phone. Yes. Wait, uh, my, my phone. phone. Okay, it's good. So, word. Oh, you guys need an extra <laughs> phone. Word. word of the oh, I'm week. Done now. He's typing. All right. <laughs> He's going. That's why it keeps <laughs> lasting. <laughs> this is a multitask. That's a good thing. Your weekly dose of absolutely senseless stuff from me, because that's all I have to contribute to this thing. <laughs> that should be your webpage. Okay. <laughs> com. Dot com. So today's word, word of the week <laughs> is brown on the cheese. Oh, oh wow. I don't even want to go there. <laughs> brown on the cheese. Okay, well, obviously, it sounds very fecal-like, but that doesn't mean it has to be. No, it doesn't have to be, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is Urban Dictionary. Everything revolves around poop. Brown on the cheese. Because maybe if maybe it's a sports thing like that. Did you see that guy make that basket? He's brown on the cheese. It might be racist. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, that, that didn't come I'm not, but so I'm not sure how. how we're in our race. Race. Oh, no. yeah, exactly. Damn it. Only seven minutes? What? <laughs> Oh. We're already being racist. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't say I, I wasn't racist. I said it sounded racist. It oh, okay. Joey jumped the gun on racism. <laughs> and why are you saying it like that? Whoa! Oh. You trying to be like a black man? No, I'm saying I'm like not. a dopey white guy. That's okay, so uh, I'm not even gonna guess. Just go ahead. Okay, you were close. You were close. Oh my god! Oh, really? You know what? I think it's when you're being smoked so fast that it burns the cheese. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Okay, what was it? <laughs> well, it's pretty close to there, Joey. It's, it's when something turns out perfect or is great, like perfectly, perfectly cooked brown cheese on pizza. Really? So it's like, oh. man, that jacket is the brown okay, cheese. Okay, see what Paul was doing there? He, was, he, he was, was getting us to start saying, oh, like, look, yeah, someone yeah, took yeah. a shit on the yeah. vagina yeah. or something. Yeah, well, brown oh, cheese is also, you know, you poop on <laughs> All right, it's poop on a pizza. <laughs> okay, all right. Woo. Nice. Good one. Hey, All right. God, that's a little drippy today. It smells like science anyway. <laughs> we didn't need to know that. Smells like the brown on the cheese. <laughs> All right. I actually have something really cool today, and it is Final. the astronomers. Oh, 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 oh shit. That was out loud. I'm kidding. Kale, you are always proud we're of all, the cheese. We're already oh, good. good. Thank you. Off. Somehow that doesn't make me feel better. But all right. Wait, is he the brown astronomers? Astronomers. <laughs> oh, Dude, you whoa. just keep knocking them down. You always man. cut kill off. <laughs> I know. You can't follow the word of the week. You know, I, I'm getting kidding. used to it though. <laughs> okay. As the host, I silence you all. Oh yeah, like that hey. works too. It's, oh wait, <laughs> I'm supposed to talk. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, the astronomers have created the first realistic virtual universe where you can play from the Big Bang all the way through until now. And they show how the universe actually forms and how it becomes what it is today. And it shows us. So there's well, a video even that I will post. Shut up! That might explain why, Shut up. why galaxies spiral. That, that's oh, one yeah. of the things. Uh, that and so, uh, still that will up. be later. All right. But yeah, so they're, they're actually. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this time I'm sincerely sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, we're waiting for the bell, as I say. Well, wait. no, it didn't happen. No, I, I, I. So you can, you can act. What an a-hole. He tells me no. not to cut him off. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. He's, he's done. He's done. He's done. Explanation. Now it's now now your turn discussion. to ask. So go, Daryl. Question. So what ask kind of computer do about you use? That? You don't have to. You can actually answer. So wait, if you, if oh. you, <laughs> is it considered to be fairly realistic? Yeah, that's why, that's why it's so significant is because they've used over 100,000 lines of code. That's a lot of code. To yeah. actually <laughs> simulate it. Yeah, that's like nice. a fart ass. Wow. Guess what time it is. What time is it? It's time for me to get interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also tech talk. What talk? What? What uh, the f***? It's that. Oh. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, time code. It's tech talk. <laughs> it's tech. Tech. What the I was going to say FERC, but somehow it slipped yeah, out it anyway. Kind of went, yeah, you, you weren't saying what you Yeah, why does he say FERC the f***? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very Swedish of you. All right. So um, now that I can't read this on my tablet anymore. 
Because it's sideways. It's Carol's sideways. been yelling at his Why? tablet for like the last Why okay, here we go. Here we go. Te- oh. Oh. <laughs> because I have the I'm watching scripter. the thing screw, and he almost has it, and then it jumps it I'm out. I'm trying to get the... Tech Talk today is about how things are sideways on your tablet. Okay, there we go. There's a website called Is It True? And it's spelled kind of weird. It's I-Z-I-T-R-U. That's why I needed to look at my tablet. Is it true? Okay. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? And what it is is, is it's it an online... What? Dot com? Dot com. Yeah. And it's an what online it? photo checker. <laughs> So what it'll do is it can basically run uh, forensics on any photo that you upload to it, JPEG or whatever, and it can basically tell you like if it's a camera original and has never been modified. Ooh, that's it'll be cool. like this is a real photo. But then if it's like a photo of a shark like jumping out of the water, like <laughs> grabbing some Coast Guard guy out of a helicopter, it'll analyze that, that and it'll go like, well, there's a mismatch in some of the mosaicing that's happening in the compression. And this isn't a camera original. It's been recompressed since then. So it'll give you these warning signs that say this may be a composite. Uh, does, it, so, does it take, like, does it have, like, a database of, like, original, like, it deems original photos where it, no, where it uh, I, compares the two? Or I'm, is it all based off the, I like, think it's all based on the actual uh, image quality. Uh-huh. So because they can do That's things cool. like detect color shifts from one area to another. Mm. Um Exposure differences and things like that. So. All right, moving on. Cool. Hey, remind me later. Also, bring up Sharknado. Okay. Rift, Rift tracks live. I think I see a. Oh. oh. I think I see a That'd field trip for uh, for okay. Empire Ramblings. Okay, guys. Wait, look. live like in person? No, live like you go to the theater oh, and nice. it's like oh, broadcast really? live. Oh, dude. I think That's it's <laughs> next. I think it's next month. That's so really cool. Nice. All right, guys. So let's that start off with uh, the intro to the whys. <sighs> the Questions kid asks uh, and questions we ask as adult. What's the purpose of things we do and we take for granted? Breathing, sleeping, laughing, dreaming, all these things that make us human. Do we outgrow asking certain questions? I kind of like this as a topic, Daryl, because there are a lot of these questions that we really never look into. We just right. kind of assume there's, I don't know, why, why we don't. Why kinda, don't we ask why? I kind of attributed it don't... to being jaded. Like, after you're used to things, you just stop asking certain questions. I think the sky blue... Like, why do we interrupt Paul? Yeah, <laughs> we interrupt Paul. No, we interrupt Kale. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, the sky blue one, I, I know that's one I always keep trying to go back on because I hear different things about it, and I yeah. think I know it, so it's going to be interesting when we get to that. Well, I think one of the other exciting things about looking this stuff up is sometimes there's not a clear answer to some of these really basic questions, you know. And kids are more prone to asking these things. And kids forget. They forget. You the tell answer. them, and it's like they're gonna. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna ask you again. So you make up something new each time. Uh, yeah. As as a teacher, my yeah. standard answer to why is because. Yeah, that's a great that's answer. Pretty Jim. much it. Let's my, use that. That's, my that's answer a, is type it into Google. <laughs> yeah, that's. I actually yeah. do that a lot with the kids. I, I I will say like, okay, Google, and then I'll ask what they have. You know what? That is kind of a cool quality in a teacher, though, because I I I, I would be afraid of an instructor that who basically thinks they know everything <laughs> like if they if they are like a walking encyclopedia and they have an actual good answer to everything that's one thing but uh someone is so overconfident that yeah. they think they never have yeah. to look something up because that's as an instructor you don't want to look dumb in front of your students but at the same time um no one stops learning including a, an instructor so yeah and i and think that's important to to tell as them. an instructor i'm constantly telling them I have no freaking clue. <laughs> Another thing too is like it's like the whole um, give someone a fish versus teach them how to fish thing. Yeah, like, you know, you you give them a little n- nibble of knowledge and that, <laughs> that informs them on one topic. Yeah. You but, teach them to look things up. You ask and by the and way, they, the answer hey. to how is magic. Magic. I've used that. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> magic. <Yeah. laughs> how does the magic. magic? The magic. That's all I got. And you walk yeah. away. Yeah. Uh, so but, yeah, go ahead, Paul. <laughs> Poor Paul, man. Go, Paul. I, I don't know. What and playing saying. the role of Kale's being interrupted is it will Paul. Be yes. Paul this no, I, I agree with uh, Daryl here with the, the teach how to fish and we're going to fish, whatever the hell he said. But um, <laughs> man, as a teacher, <laughs> as a teacher a it really opens up a, a, a learning moment or a teaching moment, I should say, that uh, you can have with your students because not you're just not giving them an answer and it's like it's done, but you can teach them like if you tell them how to look up on Google or whatever. It's giving them a moment of how to actually research and how but to so actually look something up and, and critically that think. Out. Yeah, they're, they're as learning, a group, they're you know? learning how to learn. Well, as a librarian, you don't want to just have someone like you don't want to be someone's crutch for the rest of your life. You want to teach them how to actually access resources. Yeah, in yeah. The and people come and ask stuff, and they're like, "Well, where's this?" I need the books on this, and then I. But I'll yeah. tell them where it's at, or something simple yeah, like yeah, where yeah. are the art books or whatever. But then, but teach them at? how to look it up, Where's exactly. the so they can do it themselves yeah. next time. 
And that's one of the things. That's most of the look it up on Google. Good, good thing about teaching children yeah. is you want to enable them. So there's to, a floor plan yeah. on Google. Just look at the floor plan. <laughs> so with children, well, it's good to enable them too. with the skills to do what you've been doing. Yeah. And again, you know, you've acquired your knowledge through and support uh, curiosity. Because so. like yeah, so kids may be you know scared to that. to yeah. uh, ask can, questions, and now you're you're you can end each thing you say. Knowing it's half the battle. <laughs> so, uh, kid questions. Why is yes. the sky blue? Why are some words bad? Or a couple of are the two examples we got. Let's start with why is the sky blue? The reason I'm pretty sure it's not is what a lot of people say because it reflects off the ocean. Yeah. No. Heard that one quite really? a few times. I've heard that by a, quite a few <laughs> yeah. adult individuals who actually believe that. But that's like, why is the ocean blue? Yeah, well, Reflects yeah. Reflects off and the I actually, I actually have, sky. I actually have, a, a, I Circular believe. Circular reasoning right there. Yes. My reasoning for the sky is the same as the ocean. I believe that the ocean has a slight tint of blue, and then when you just pile it all on top of each other, it becomes, you. the heavier it is, it's why it changes color when it gets thicker. Yeah, it's, it's the, that's, the distance to light. That's so not... Reflecting, isn't it? But they might have something to do with wavelength. That isn't half bad because it's actually pretty much right. It's just you can describe it a different way that makes it a little more clear. So okay, yeah. See that, and that's 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 how I see it. Is just is because you, and that's when I've talked to kids who try and try to explain to them. I say when you look at the ocean, it's blue. But if you take a glass and bring it out in the water and look at it, it's not blue because there's not enough of it. Well, it's, well, you guys want to try well, it before I... Sure. Because I kind of know this one. We're going two minutes to question, is, right? about, okay. It has to do with the scattering no of particles. In between. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so it has the ways that your scattering, eyes... Uh, scattering your particles as the sunlight comes in yeah. and hits the atmosphere. Right, and that's the other so one. That's the scattering. So basically, the shorter wavelengths are scattered more by the particles in the, in yeah. the atmosphere. So the gases uh, cause the blue to scatter a lot more than the red, the yellow, and the mm-hmm. orange. Um, and that's also related to why a sunset has those uh, red, yellow, orange colors in it is because um, when the sun is closer to the horizon, you're looking through a lot more atmosphere than when you're looking straight up. So when you're looking straight up at the sun, like at noon, uh, don't do it with your bare straight eyes. Up now, tell but it looks, is blue. it'll look like Did white light, terrible. basically. But all of it, as it's come through the atmosphere, the blue has scattered off some. That's why the sky around looks kind of blue, because you're getting scattering from those areas, but the other wavelengths of color are generally shooting straight so is, and not reaching you. Is sunlight then missing some of its blue wavelengths as it reflects off of things? Yes. So we're seeing... Uh, and that's uh, why it turns more red right. when you're looking through more atmosphere. But what I'm saying is, will if we're up in space, do we see things differently? Like Yeah, it would be probably a clearer, uh, whiter a cl- light. It, yeah. And it also has Very to do with what gases are in the atmosphere, because if you're on Mars, you would not yeah. see a blue sky. Before we move to the True. next one, I yeah. want to mention one thing that's, that is kind of cool that I was thinking about when thinking about the subject, is that... Um, they describe pure sunlight as being white, you know? And what's interesting about that is I think that is white because that's how we evolved. Oh, yeah. Because that's the that's main source of light mm-hmm. that we've ever had to deal with. Like, if we were next to a yellow giant or a red... Uh, oh, giant, interesting. Whatever, that would be... That would be our, white. Our, our pers- right. We would probably see that as white, and our sun would look kind of blue. So, that's so, so. cool. That's it must have been all jacked up for Superman. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> he's like, he's like, like why is well, everything green? It's yeah. all ah. Why is he Arnold? Yeah. I can't remember where it was, but there was this really cool thing about how that if you had a red giant and a blue giant uh, tw- uh, twin stars in the sky, then oh as the Earth went around, you would get red and you would get blue when that sun was out. And if they're both, they get purple. Yeah. <laughs> when they were well, rising, get, yes. when it rains, you get prints. What's the other question? Uh, why are some words bad? Because we want them to be, I guess. Yeah, it's the interpretation that society's put on them. It's your society's Culture. interpretation. Actually, I would say words. that if you, if you, uh, by saying they're bad, you're making them worse because then they're, they're yeah. saying as much. Because they're taboo. Come in, Entree. I had. So the only reason why they're forbidden is because they're taboo, and they're usually and taboo subjects, Carlin. right? Like it's, <laughs> it's inappropriate to talk about piss and oh, poop snap, and, and all these Here. other things that we have swear words for during dinner I don't, time. I don't want right? to scream. All right. Ah! Oh my God! That was we the have bell. to change topics. And then the, the other major <laughs> swear words are all about sex, which is another taboo subject. So. Okay. Right. Uh, good call. Uh, okay. Next is kid question. Oh wait. Why is kid question? Oh, biology questions. Why do we sleep? We don't. We have kids. Why do we dream? <laughs> <laughs> and why do we dream? Nice one. Uh, sleep actually. Uh, we, we were just listening we on the the future of the mind. Away. Now they're figuring out uh, yeah. things yeah. about uh, why we sleep and why it's necessary. Oh, I think so. we're eating again. 
You always add with food. All right, here, I'll have a couple friends. Well, he didn't fries. bring his do-it-yourself <laughs> foot or foot this time. <laughs> foot, yeah. Okay, so why do we sleep? What's the name I'm trying to place? remember. Fall yourself? Delicious. <laughs> we should oh, really okay. open one called that. Um, <laughs> well, what did was, he say on the, 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 the about sleep? He was saying how it was... Uh, some, well, I can't remember. Clear out, clear, clear out. out. Yeah, yeah, that was it. It was to clear out the junk. Yeah, of, like the the, the <laughs> mental waste. Yeah, I clear they, out my junk on a regular basis. Yes, does. It's yes. your it's actual physical uh, no, stuff in your brain that gets cleared out as you sleep. Right. Well, they yeah, it's chemically Plaque, that way. Sort of like yeah, yeah, that was what he was saying. Yeah, That's there are quite sleep? a few theories that, about, about this. Um, one of them is also mind plasticity about how you kind of reinterpret things that you've experienced throughout the day. So during your sleep cycle, you have time to kind of re redo your connections and your neurology changes some in the night. That's one theory. There's another one about uh, conservation of energy, which I think has mm -hmm. a lot of merit to it because scarcity is a big thing about you know wild animals. Hibernation. So if, first of all, if it's dangerous for you to venture out at night because there are a lot of nocturnal predators out there, you might want to just sit still anyway. And then if you're sitting still you'd may as well go into a low power mode because your metabolism is going to be burning all this energy. Well, that was actually what he brought up in the book is like, what's the evolutionary point of sleep? Because it's been, a, it's evolved by all these creatures yet. What are you doing? You're basically becoming vulnerable right. to anything out there. So it has to be However, so important. If you're awake and cognizant, um, I mean, maybe you might evolve to sit there with your eyes open and be alert, but s stay totally no, still. Our pet rats but that's sleep with their eyes open. Because you're your muscles and everything, you know, you want to move around. Yeah. So I guess the alternative to, oh, to that is if you want to be silent. That's interesting. Maybe it was that. Not call attention to yourself. Then you just oh, kind of hibernate overnight. Interesting. So Snore maybe those like that a, survived were the ones that were able to ha to stay still longer. Stay still longer yeah. during part of their life. That's right. And fewer of them got eaten by the T-Rexes at night or whatever. So next yeah, one is. My mammals and my. Next one is large hairy <laughs> twat. What? What? Well, oh, that was Ed's. <laughs> Ed sent a tech. Uh, so, no, no. The next one is why do we oh, okay. Why do we dream? Joey got it. Why do we dream? Well, no, I, I've got his phone because mine's... Well, well Joey got was the we all about have that. Twice. Yeah, I think it might be related to the plasticity. We covered this in our dream. Of a large cherry twat. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're doing dreams. That's right. Well, it, I think it is a combination of what Daryl was saying. And also, it's, it's not just what you were thinking before you went to sleep. It's whatever is getting cleaned out of your brain. They, they say it activates so those, those yeah. memories. He was saying it takes a day, though. You usually yeah. don't dream about the stuff that happens that day. Right. You'll right. dream about the stuff at least a day in advance or previous. Well, I was dreaming about Massachusetts as I woke up today. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta say, I'm serious. That. We were like, all in there singing it together. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the whole idea of dreaming, though, does kind of fly in the face of the energy conservation theory for sleep because it's like. Why should your brain be active in burning all these calories unless it does something good for right, you? Right, right, yeah. And I brought it up in the dreaming episode that I kind of think of dreams as being almost like um, a, a built-in simulator. Like, you kind of can practice things. Like, you know, you might be out in, in the savannah and, like, you practice missed... a lot of sex. You missed that, that water buffalo with the spear you threw. But then you might dream about that later on and so, train yourself to biology part two. Why do we have gender and sex? Why do we breathe? Well, because one depends on one. The other. We, there's a penis <laughs> and, and a vagina. And one's a catcher mitt. One, and one's a baseball, baseball bat. bat. I was I there, but I heard it from you. I heard it nonstop. From Boys you. night yeah. out back in sixth, sixth grade. grade. Yeah, and sixth the mother grade. daughter dessert where you got sundaes and tampons. Yeah, what's up with that? We didn't get any tampons. Mother daughter dessert. Yeah, that's their version Wait, of Wait, which boys one's night dessert? Out. Oh. <laughs> okay. That, <laughs> no, that's got like what? pigs in a blanket. Which one has a cherry? <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, why do we have gender and sex? Well, your mind I mean, we have. Why didn't they have Because we have gender. Okay, well, the, the scientific <laughs> yeah. reason for sex is, of course, because it allows the strengths to be. Uh, <laughs> yes, right. He was praying right there. Now, right? Okay, it's a ball. It's a ball. It's a ball. No, no, no. Belt. Coming together. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Accordion. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a way of mixing up the gene pool. Thank you. And this, to let the strongest and that's parts why there are mixer dances, because they get together and like, yeah. oh, like yeah. 50% yeah. Like one gene. Kentucky or wherever. <laughs> As opposed to just clones where your, your, uh, your bad parts are going to stay around forever. 
Right. Well, I got a bad part. Yes, <laughs> like I, think it's, I thought that was funny. <laughs> it's completely tied into copy of a copy. Of a copy. Evolution, like you're kind of hinting at, because like evolution doesn't happen if the gene pool just stays the same. Yeah. Like all of your progeny have the same genes as you. You would have to rely entirely on mutations, which are usually subtle or small, and uh, fairly uncommon. Uh, and that would be the only way things could evolve. Yeah, have you heard the theory about how males are going to become extinct? I mean, it's way down the line, but I it's... I have not heard that. It's very interesting. Uh, They're saying weird. the male... Uh, They're going to become hermaphrodites? No, no, no. The male chromosome is actually... The Y chromosome is actually kind of screwed up, and it's evolving yeah. towards not existing anymore. Huh. Uh, so but how, we're talking like be, a million years in the future or right. something. But isn't but, like sex for... I mean, for procreate... Well, that's race? the whole like, thing. The human race it was on that... Because we just going to kill each other. It was on that... Um, uh, <laughs> the history of the future timeline where the male stopped existing and it was like way in the future but still it's an interesting how far well, in the my, future my is, I, I think we put, <laughs> we put a pretty good grasp on why it happens but I'm kind of wondering like what has to happen when life springs up for sexual reproduction to begin happening like, I, the origins of that to me are kind of fascinating because it seems like yeah obviously that's integral to evolution working mm -hmm. but how does it start you know, is it first that there's this caveman's you know, like, like a small mutation <clears throat> where suddenly yeah. something instead of going through mitosis to split up, there are suddenly ones with different sex organs that, and they can mate? Yeah, well, I, I, it bizarre. seems like in, that it would be two uh, uh, single-celled animals just that mixing you know, together, yeah, mixing it's together, mixing together, and then splitting off yeah. again. It's at the point where the organisms are so simple that they just yeah. touch and they can, or they touch a certain way and they mix. Well, right. Part of it might be like uh, oh. viruses also because they inject their DNA. Oh, that's right. That's that's maybe that's how it started. Yeah, males. That makes sense. Males are just viruses. Right. <laughs> All right, and it would be more diversity. Um, if what? You want to make exactly. Yeah, you could. You wouldn't get that with the. Uh, mitosis and stuff. Exactly. Now, why do we breathe? As a teacher, I taught fifth grade, and that's one of the things we taught was... So we don't die. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yes! But the idea that every cell... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I put a <laughs> beer on his tit and then you just sat down. Like, you've never had a beer on his tit before. I thought Kale was molesting me. <laughs> Again. Let's go, Again. Again. That was my question. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Now Kale, Kale is molesting you. I'm molesting him through hey, Eddie. Through hey. Eddie. No, wait. Never, <laughs> Eddie is molesting Daryl yeah. through Kale. Wait, never, you see, I feel you. I've never being a pedophile Thursday. Pedophile Thursday, Thursday da, 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 where we da, da, play with, with another song. boy's balls. <laughs> Thank you for the beer, but no thanks for that. I want to extend. Extends. Speaking of extends. <laughs> so uh, Why do we have sex? It was always amazing that every, every living cell needs to have three things to survive. It needs food uh, slash water. Uh, air Companions. or gas oxygen. I have gas. Yes. Or, and it needs waste removal. And that's every cell I in your this. body. And it's amazing how the human body works because it's your nervous system. Every single billions of those cells has a little tiny pathway going into your nervous system so it can get air from your lungs and food, uh, basically nutrients uh, through the bloodstream. It's quite a complex system. If you've ever seen the, um, what, what was that dead body display they have? What's it called? The human one? The body? Yeah. The, you saw the body, body display. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, they they have one where they've actually taken all the they uh, plasticized. Yeah, yeah, and they've done that. Too. There's one of the things where they've done that with just the ner the not the nerve the uh, the the blood cells or the what are they called bloodstream the, the bloodstream where it goes. I can't think of the names right now. Not the circular veins. system. The circular system. Yeah. Yeah. And there's just system. millions and millions of wires. It's just incredible. That's the little, little, little capillaries. capillaries. <laughs> you're you're right. acting like you you got this Carl Sagan thing going. I'm the damn host. Millions. No, 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 no. He's three be more animated because we're actually being filmed now. Do do way and together and circulatory system. How do they have? Together! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so breathing. One does Right just... here, baby! So, yeah, yeah, this is this is that so every, glad I extended. Every animal, every cell needs... <laughs> needs and and, and that's stuff. why we're breathing. Is It's the most efficient way for us to bring in the gases to get to all the cells that our body has come up with. And get rid of the carbon dioxide. And that's the other thing, because yeah. we're getting rid of two wa waste, carbon dioxide waste, and also yeah. uh, other waste, but that's Queefing. done with and our... And interestingly enough, no system is 100% efficient. There's that's true. That's, that's right. right. And then there's... Well, yeah. out, there's because you can get blocked either way. <laughs> you do get blocked either way. Especially when you have extra cheese. All right, moving on to... Uh, social questions part... No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, social questions part one. Why do we play and why do we laugh? I don't know. 
Why does Whoa. everybody's farts in this group sound weird? <laughs> like all, like his, like our trumpeting. That was like a little <laughs> mammal <laughs> burrowing into a something. Mammal <laughs> burrowing into something. <laughs> no, get out of there, yeah. Richard Gere. <laughs> he's, he's in there. Okay. That's no. not burrowing. Well, we <laughs> put it back. That's not burrowing. <laughs> So uh, we play because it's fun. Well, no, actually, <laughs> and it's once social again. interactivity. Go ahead, Joey. Call me ho. And co- competition. I well, do. No. In the book with that Kill and I have oh. recently read, The Future of the Mind, he That's talks about. the damn thing you read that book. <laughs> I know, it just keeps coming up. Uh, I, I, I watched the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, Michikaku says that basically play is all about Meet my practicing wife. for social. Interaction growing up, and yeah, if you look adult, at play, yeah. and, and I see it every day on the art, it is. It's all about social interaction. You know, it's playing doctor. Yeah. But it, <laughs> of all but, games, you had to go well. And some, some, some tag. tag. At There's some a school, tunnel tag. They're learning tunnel tag. What the play. hell is that? You didn't play tunnel tag. tag? No. no? <laughs> I guess it was something important uh, I missed in my childhood. I think it's a generation thing because kids today won't know what tunnel tag yeah. is either. It's where you, you, you freeze. It's like freeze tag. But to unfreeze them, you got to go you under, under your legs. legs. Yeah. I was seeing something with your hand and somebody's ass. I don't yeah. know. Was, that's word of the week. That's, no, no, no. Again, that's, that's, that's not the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look that up. <laughs> Isn't the future even going to play TV tag? Seriously. Are they no, they play zombie tag now. Oh, that's the big tag. one. That's oh. cool. um, okay, so why? So playing is social. Why do we laugh? And once again, social. Uh, one of the science shows uh, did uh, an experiment on laughing, where they, you know, where they watched uh, people who were in who were laughing. And why was it? Was it jokes? Was something funny? It was always social. It was always there's lots of people laughing, and it's usually not even because something's funny. It's just related to how you view the world and the people well, that's around you. you get, you're more likely to laugh at a movie in a theater mm-hmm. than probably at home. Because you're it's, you're with with people in the theater and you kind of like feed off the energy. I think the only reason that this this uh, podcast is funny at all is because we're busting up half the time right. and mm-hmm. people at home don't realize how stupid it is. Or they do, <laughs> and they're, and they're, they're laughing, laughing anyway. They're laughing at us. They're laughing. Yeah, they're laughing. Yeah, that's funny. Because if, like, if they were at the, <laughs> if they were at the transcript, like if it was just like, yeah, I know. Book, yeah, it wouldn't make sense. they'd be like, what the okay, heck? and then fart. How no, they'd, they'd be like, we're the fur dick or whatever we play here. <laughs> no, wow. that's, um, that's, a, that's a new game. No, we uh, came up with it last time. Yes. Oh, right. So uh, why it's do we? New. So laugh, laughing and playing are all kind of the same thing. It's all about social because uh, we are we are social animals. We are animals. We are the animals. We were well. It's kind of we're on the same page. Um, um, <laughs> you're, you're Carl. It, it helps set Carl's laughing and farting and other things you're like that. Sets a sense of community. <laughs> So, yes. you know, when you laugh Steve together, you feel like family. And, 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 and before we've had these discussions about Steve how Hawking we're kind of tribal, we tend to, a prostitute. you know, like we care more for the, our immediate you people are, around us and then less for our strangers. Jack my balls, get down there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you, but, um, <laughs> La- so, laughter is a way of, of relating and, and forming. Well, I'd, I'd like to think We're that eventually around our campfire here. Yeah, well, yeah. I'd like to think that eventually we won't have a lot of fans. We'll have a community of listeners, and I got that from Leo Laporte. Actually, oh. he says it's a community because you're engaged with, Which with means the means We podcasters. have to interact with them. Yeah, oh. yeah. all of us are. Oh. So reclusive. Hey. But well, we need to get say, someone yeah, to interact. That was hey. Joey interacting. He's interacting. I mean, <laughs> all you people right. out there, if I you come here, we will interact with you. Sandman. You will even let you fondle Daryl. <laughs> Who doesn't want to do he that? He has two tits. <laughs> <laughs> he can be fondled. Thank you very much. Lights. He can be fondled continually. <laughs> Attack of the clones. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. So now we're going into social questions part two. Why do we you love? About, why do we inquire? You about why do we love? Daryl's tits. Anyways. Yes, because, tits. because we're done with Daryl's tits <laughs> now, okay. and we're moving yeah. on. <laughs> the fa kept coming. It was over. Yeah, we're gonna make the fa. To... Now we're gonna slurp <laughs> the fa. Now we're, now we're gonna <laughs> share the fa. <laughs> <We're done. laughs> what the fa? Exactly. Let's move on. It's it's the move. Someone has to cradle the balls now. Come on. We're not this I'm going in. We're not into that. <laughs> All right, so this is why I drink beer at the podcast. Oh, why do we love? Why do we inquire? Love comes down to the sex thing, but I think it's also something with companionship. Companionship. Because we love it's, more it's than just our sexual partners. Be, yeah, we, yeah, exactly. I love you people. guys. And love has different. Uh, I, I believed him on that one. I mean, I love you guys, but I'm not gonna like let you ram me. 
All right, Brian. That is a bumper sticker. I know. I, draw the, I love you guys, but I'm not going to let you ram me. And I, I draw the line at having my tits grabbed. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, you didn't. But yeah, you, know, you wanted to be grown. I'm comfortable with myself. You said, <laughs> your mouth said no, your tits said yes. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Blurred <laughs> lines. What? Why did you do that? Your mouth said no, no, your tits said, said yes. yes. Wow. So, I'll have another drink at TGI Friday. <laughs> so, w- w- the reason we love it is I think it ha- relates to everything here. It's bonding, yep. bringing communities closer together. It's bondage. Yes. Bondage. It's bonding. In the so much bondage. Bonding again. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and the other thing, too, is that like um, we have chemical um, reasons for uh, looking after youth and stuff. Right like now, that, it's too, beer. So. <laughs> Not with me. But, but I mean, like. <laughs> You know, you get the... Some of us don't need drugs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you get endorphins. Yeah, yeah. He was just you know, proving that yeah. he's already I'm high. Like, you know, so, you know, I'm when, so glad I bring When you there's a, a small animal or a small human that needs your attention, you're like, I mean, you got those things streaming at you or whatever, you, you know... If you don't have those endorphins and the sense of love and everything, your first response is and probably to get really far away. Or to kill know. them. Yeah, right. So then, so the thing is, we yes, we yeah. have this nurturing nature. That's you know, that's part of how <laughs> we nurture nature or kill. We became adults kids. because our parents didn't run away. For kale, it's nurture nature or kill. Be, <laughs> well, not necessarily. Your parents gonna run away. I mean, anybody's parents gonna run away. No, but no, it's saying somebody it in has the, to take care e- of evolutionarily that yeah, you gotta go to the. But even more, since fire I've been a, first to drop you off. Yeah, since, <laughs> since I've been a dad, <laughs> since I've been a dad, I am so. Uh, the, my, I was about to say I was about to say traction to babies. Then that was oh, <laughs> what day is it? All right, Michael Jackson. Jackson. It's 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 the way I feel about oh, babies has changed. Before I couldn't give a fart, but but now, <laughs> yes, you did. But now it's like when I see if I see something like uh, something <laughs> happening to a baby, it makes me sad. Or if I see yeah. something happening with a baby. I've never been that way. Becoming a dad has yeah, made me do that. It's it's you developed it's, parenting empathy. Yes, which yeah. I did not have before. Yeah. With my huh. nephews and nieces, they were awesome. It was really cool, but they were, I never felt this way about them. Mm-hmm. Now I feel more yeah. towards them because I have a kid. Did you hear that, guys? Yeah, Uncle Joey like, didn't whoa, care about whoa, you. Whoa! I didn't even say he didn't care. I just wasn't all. He didn't even give a yeah. fart. Not even half of one. Yeah. Isn't um, it interesting though that the concept of love? It you know there's the there's the love and sex. It's interesting the the um contract, if you will, between men and women, women, you know, decide who gets, you know, oh, extend, oh, please, okay. Okay. extends, uh, you know, the women decides who, who they want to mate with, but in return, the man has to raise the children with them and take care of them for the rest of their life. You sound like a whiny right? male. Is right. That interesting? No, but that, that's mean, a good point. And, yeah. you know, the thing well, is, why? But it's, it's just designed to have Wait. kids. The woman wants the man to stay around to provide for the kids. But at the same time, oh, I have something biological happening now that I'm a father kids. where mm-hmm. I am invested in it in an emotional way, which I did not have before. It was not there. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and recently you just realized you're that dad. Yeah, I, yeah I'm <laughs> that dad. Like, look at these pictures. Yeah. Look at them. Oh, look yeah. at them. Yeah. I don't care if you don't care. Watch this video. Watch so this video, this damn it. Isn't he question, so cute? Hey, let me yeah. see. He rolled over. Let and I know I head. didn't care before. Yeah, let me and see I know you don't care let now. Let me see the pictures of your nieces and nephews. No, I don't give a Well, I do give a fart. No, philosophically, though, let's go into that question of giving half a fart. <laughs> when you cut it off, no, doesn't it fart. now become a whole fart? <laughs> well, it depends it on what the intention is. So how do you give half of it? Wait, we're cutting off the most... Like Okay, what? We're cutting off the next question, which is okay, why do we inquire, question. which is kind of the basis of this so whole podcast. So why did I ask this question about farts? Well, wow. why do we inquire? That's what, does learn. anybody know why we inquire? I mean, it must be an evolutionary it's thing a, once again, right? Those who inquired were able to discover right. things that allowed yeah. them to... I think the unknown is can be scary. We need evolution. to watch 2001 to again. Answers. Those who didn't give half a fart or a whole fart <laughs> we went for died because they didn't figure out how to drink non-poisonous water. Because they had all these farts inside them. But you know the the question of like curiosity killed the cat and sure there's a balance in yeah like there has to be the right amount of curiosity to discover new things versus too much curiosity that you start pulling the tails on tiger the exactly. darwin awards you know? yeah it's, yeah, it's like darwin. it's just like one doesn't simply just push a fart <laughs> into mortar <laughs> but if you go <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 
But curiosity kill the cat. There's a there, there is a there is a. Uh, Are you I see, a, meme. Gut, I see a meme in our future. Yeah, it rain. They rain. It rain. I just want to say, don't cry. push too hard, or you'll poop your pants. Okay. No, Samwise is like Mr. Frodo. You must bigger picture. Now. Why do galaxies <laughs> push? Oh, oh. Did you fart? And was that a face? fart? No, it sounded like there. static. Oh, dude, shit! Pause for that was right in my left ear. Right in his left. My everything on my left is getting. Eddie brings fa, and look what happens. Eddie brings beer. Three weeks ago. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the bigger picture. <laughs> why it still remains? Shut up. <laughs> why do galaxies spiral? <laughs> why does Eddie interrupt us all the time? Why can <laughs> math? Why can math describe? Why things? are we so loud? Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no why do no, galaxies? You're not, loud. Them, not all of them do spiral. You need to wear They're your headphones. Regulars. Actually, no. I believe <laughs> no. they do all spiral. Now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they go in a circle. They don't spiral. They go in a circle. Well, how's that not spiraling? <laughs> That's a good point. No, because like isn't spiraling it, down isn't, or spiraling up. Isn't it the more the most recent uh, evidence shows that there's a supermassive black hole at the center of every galaxy? Pretty yes. much. Yeah, I look at Yale because yeah, That's, uh, which is causing generally what they think yeah, spiraling yeah. down the tube. Right. So that's why but there are irregulars done. out there. Not but they're how, still going around. Do they, do oh, they that's spiral a diff- or not? No, no. I think that's a different. That's an earlier spiral. form of mm-hmm. the galaxy because it hasn't gotten the shape yet of the spiral because it's it just hasn't clo- flattened. It hasn't flattened out yet, yeah. so it's yeah. an earlier oh, galaxy. Yeah. I think is what right. the thing was. Yeah, and it's like when when the Andromeda galaxy collides with ours, mm-hmm. they're going to collide, spin around, and event, and they'll be spiraling again. It'll be a mess of until we collide. Well, it's kind of like a. To me, it's like a big Triangle model room. of how every planet and star forms is that you have these this material. The toilet, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. It starts out as a cloud, disc. but then right, it turns into an accretion disk, and that gets its own spiraling force on it. Yep. Now, the exact like physics of how that all happens, that's you know, I'll leave that to brighter people. And this is an interesting one. How yeah. can math? Oh yeah, yeah. brighter person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's <laughs> <laughs> your Hawking? You're on stage. Why, 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 yeah, why, why do galaxies spiral? <laughs> galaxies spiral because they are. In the southern hemisphere of the universe, and when God flushes the toilet, it goes in the opposite direction than it does in the north. Okay, okay, okay Stephen Hawking's, ha- Stephen Hawking's, ha- Stephen Hawking's <laughs> having a stroke. <laughs> Everybody, all the celebrities have in strokes here. on our phone. Yeah. Yeah. God is fairly easy to. His thing broke. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And look, he's stroking. It's, it's called a microphone. Does he have auto? Like bad ha- autocorrect, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. that would be bad. When it's Stephen like, uh, Hawking autocorrect. <laughs> I'm very happy to introduce. Hello, my mom. How are you f-ing today? <laughs> <laughs> Damn autocorrect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, why does math? Sh- why does math describe everything? How can? I don't know. How can it? I don't know. It's not a why question. Yeah, why what the hell? Math why, why does math describe Why does math everything? describe everything? Uh, it just... I, I don't, okay, so I don't know that We're one. kind of running out of time well, on this scientific one. Rigor. Go ahead, go, go. I mean, right, go. scientific rigor, go. and I think what it really is is that... Um, plus two plus two is four. Like, one... <laughs> two plus two. We've defined <laughs> one as being a specific thing, and two, and every, every yeah. integer, right? We know what those are. <laughs> but I think what it comes down to is when we discover these Five. equations that describe physical reality... We're actually kind of delving into the language of the physical universe. So we've basically math is like the language that describes actual things. Yeah. And it could look different depending on who invented it or whatever. But it's just like it's so concrete that that's why it proves itself right because it actually works. You can make predictions. Math is a is a good way of bringing down the explanation of things. Okay, my question. Right. Unless we're extending. No. no, guess not. Okay, so we're going to Joey's question. Joey's question, oh. I have a large question, and then a little question if we've got time at the end. My large question is, why do we yawn? I like that one. That is one that I've always wondered because... Isn't it to keep your brain cool? I've mm-hmm. heard... I've heard Lack di- of oxygen. I've heard that. Yeah. That I've also heard that been, has been disproven as well. All right. Turn. Yeah, so go I ahead. So, Eddie, you were yeah. saying... Lack of oxygen. Or, I mean, ser- seriously, uh, when, I'm, when I'm just standing there, I'm not tired, but after a good workout and stuff, I start to yawn. And then mm-hmm. people tell me to wake up, and I was like, you know, I am. Makes sense. Right. Paul? Um, keep your brain cool. Or warm. Mm-hmm. Hey, it was, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who are not watching, we're doing the Jets and Sharks they, they now. They are watching, Joey. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Holy God. Kale. All right. All right. It's also a social thing yeah. where if... if uh, 
if you watch like baboons, yeah. they actually yawn, and the other one will yawn as a way of socially interacting. Lions, also. you know, I heard, yeah. uh, but, 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 it, but it's but. associated with tiredness, um, and I do think that it does give you a rush of oxygen because you take a sharp, deep breath in, and then um, that helps you infuse a little more oxygen in your blood. Unless you're here, and then you're getting. It too may much have dioxide. originated. It may have originated from needing oxygen, but I I don't think that's uh, the main reason why th- anymore that it's used. The idea, I think that that's so it's ha- not used anymore. Well, not for the <laughs> oxygen. It's because, and the way I've I found, I used to work with dogs. Well, I used to ha- know somebody who worked with dogs. I used to be Were married you to someone to them too? who worked with dogs, <sighs> and the yawning was very much a social interaction between dogs. It was a show of um, solidarity. No dominance. No, no, the opposite. Yes. Submission. submission. It's a show of submission. When a dog yawns, <gasps> it's, it's, showing the other, <laughs> it's showing the other dog, hey, I'm not going to attack you. Yeah. I'm submitting. Or I'm. I, it might even be of a neutrality type thing. Because then the other dog will yawn as well, and they relax. So yeah. I'm wondering if it has something to do with that, where it not only, it gave a phys- it turned something social into something physical. Like, that yawn is saying, it's okay, he's relaxed, therefore I can relax. And I know Mythbusters did a thing saying that that yawning doesn't cause other yawning, but I have to disagree with that from my personal experience because it's when someone else yawns, I want to yawn, and right, you right. know, and maybe and maybe it's, but on Mythbusters they did it with strangers, so maybe it has to be someone you know so or someone you're directly interacting in, with. interacting with. I, that makes because they were just sitting in a room. I tell you though, I I see like. Even animals on TV yawn, and mm-hmm. it makes me want to do it. Yeah, yeah. So, or like, I see thinking like, about it now, I want to yawn. I'm like, right. go ahead, Joey. Mm. Daryl did. Yum. Okay, my next second little question is, why is there Ding. no... No, I'm kidding. Why, why <laughs> is there no name for the thing that happens after you eat that's not quite a burp, but it's not quite... It, it's it, a cucumber burp. No, it's not a burp. It's the, it's a, uh, uh, You know, the air comes up, but it's not really a burp. It's like, you're talking, and then you got to go... Like a throat uh, queen? Uh, <laughs> There you go. Uh-huh. Like you but no, it exists. You guys all know what I'm talking about. These are formed by you know, the penis but causing a. I know. It's like a, a boot stuck in the <laughs> mouth. My <laughs> question. So, <laughs> not queef. So, what I want to know is why don't we. Not what is it, because we Joey, all know what it is. Why do we queef. not have a name for it? You're given a name. It's Maybe not quite a, a burp. But Joey, the, let's, the Joey explanation. Well, then it's, well, then it's a throat queef. Yeah, the throat queef. Yeah, but no, but Joey invented the throat Queen. No, I That's didn't. Good. But I want to know why. Dude, I want to buy five of them. My- <laughs> <laughs> I'd like five throat. If you queens. order it now, you get your second. I want to know yeah. why it's not why something that happens so frequently does not have a name. I'm sure it has a medical name, but it doesn't have a a name in the general population. Is it not, That's probably not just done. Don't call the burp. I would yeah, guess. But I- Billy Mays here. <laughs> Road queen. I'll get that one free. All right, Paul. What's your question? Oh, uh, my my first question uh, that I think of was. Oh, you guys went for multiple questions, huh? Well, That's I was okay. thinking one back. Right. But really, I want to know, time. guys. Guys. Yeah, I heard this already. I'm gonna go with it. We have no listeners. Why do we do this podcast? <laughs> Up high. <laughs> down low. Too slow. Uh, no. You didn't do the down low. You saw that. Yeah. yeah. So I do think not. we have some listeners, but as as always. This was never done for the listership. It's a social no. thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's evolution social, the answer it's, to all why questions. It's rambling yawning. <laughs> Honestly, since we started this, I've seen you guys more than I have, I think, since high school. <laughs> Not you, Kale, because I didn't see yeah. you in high school. <laughs> Whoa! That would have been weird. I would have been like, been why weird. are you <laughs> hanging around our high school, you yeah. older guy? Yeah. It's kind of replaced. It's all Thursday. <laughs> it's kind of replaced Kale. Night for us. But yeah, I did. feel like this is a little more productive. Yeah, yeah. strangely. Yeah. There it's the production right there. Yeah. <laughs> production came out my ass. That was a butt queef. And the thing is, Paul, this will become something someday. Yes. And maybe oh, our no. listeners will but we do it for us. So well, if, well, if you're out there thinking now because it's important if to you us. Think we're yeah. doing it for and you. also we definitely keep refining it. It keeps getting better. Yeah. And uh even our website, you know, as we improved it and changed to a new one, it got better and I better. Th- I think it brings to the question, why do we do anything like this? And it's part of being human. We we yeah. go into projects. People will always say, oh, you don't have a life because you're doing this thing. They'll say it to geeks and people right. like that. But the truth is, whatever someone does. You right? Yeah, there. I did. <laughs> <laughs> whatever someone does, if they're interested in it and they want to do it, then it, it's a reason. Because you okay. can take anything and okay. take a meaning away. Soapbox time. Okay? I'm going to tell you what's Next, what. Please. That wasn't oh. an earthquake, by the way. Because this is... 
This is my my thing. Like next, please. That is if your you're thing. if you're too afraid to try something new, then you're, you're never going to get anywhere. That's the difference between success and failure. I think the the only true failures are the ones who never tried in the first place. We're putting this out there and we're doing it, and to me, that's a success because we're actually doing something. Mm-hmm. Um, who who was in history was ever assured success? Like, did Google yeah. know they were going to become this huge mega Google corporation? Flex. When they started, no, nice. but they tried something new. And, you know, for every Google's, there are 100 failures out there. But I think the, yeah, you know, is. failure is a label we put on something that didn't yeah, take off. Genius. But I think <laughs> the true failures are people who just sit still and never try anything. Yeah. So, you know, we got it, we've got gotten this out there, and now yeah. we need to, you know. And I'm going around and slap some I've greatly enjoyed the stuff, creative so. process that, uh, that, we've, that we do to make this. And it is about the journey. You know, mm-hmm. even 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 ask Jeeves. I mean, they had a journey, <laughs> yeah. And that, but it's gone now. We're also at, dog pile. I know for myself, on the rabbit. I'm learning from these podcasts, right. learning on topics that I never really deeply, critically thought about or anything. And I learned from yeah. stuff from Daryl and Kale and Joey and Eddie and stuff. And now your balls deep in topics. We're yeah. kind of we're kind of like yeah, challenging ourselves to yeah. think about I never things knew about that we sometimes before. don't get the time to. You know. Well, this is an I excuse to have ponder stuff. But I mean, <laughs> it's, it's to me. I mean, even I don't know how many listeners we actually have or whatever. I know it'll grow, but we're actually contributing you know, something. I feel positive out in the interwebs. Yeah. And if all the crap that's out there, it's just mm-hmm. it's something. And positive. agree with us or not, I think we give a decent opinion, and we're kind of like the um, the Ig Nobel Prize awards because. I think what we do is the same thing they do. They they basically issue awards to research that first makes you laugh, then it makes you think. And that I think that sums up what this podcast is. I think that's our goal is to first entertain. And then if we happen to make you think about some subject, we've succeeded. That was a cough. Right? Here, I want to see that laugh and think. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Thank you. All, All right, Kale. All right. Uh, What's your question? Right. My question is, what is gravity? Oh, nice. What is gravity? Kale. Nobody knows that! <laughs> it's a movie that came out last year. <laughs> I won Academy Awards and crap. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, no, the, the point is, is that what do we think it is? Because, like you said, there's a yep. lot of ideas. Okay. Yep. I believe that gravity has to do, and Kale and I have talked about this before, and this is probably, <laughs> actually, I should probably not go to next because mine will run into your idea. So what do you guys think gravity is? Okay. Gravity. <laughs> Sorry. We. It's. Uh, yeah, you looked at Mortal Queen, but it's funny. Yeah, it's Moving one, on. It's All right. One of the major forces, uh, in the it's one of the atomic forces because basically every piece of matter in the universe is tugging on every other one, pulling them together. It's um. It's so right now, Daryl is tugging force. on me. Exactly. <laughs> it's an opposing force to dark energy. Ooh. Is it? Mm-hmm. How? How so? It's dark. being. Well, I thought the idea behind dark, dark energy, energy was is that causing it, the universe to expand. But I thought it if had gravity a, wins, it's going to collapse. It's also a movie energy starring energy Sandra Bullock. Right. But then okay. again, if dark energy also wins, but dark uh, energy is pulling can, using gravity. The, the reason why we invented the idea of dark energy is because there's not enough matter to produce the gravity yeah, we're but seeing. The dark energy that we're speaking of. <laughs> the dark energy is actually. <laughs> no. There's another theory Wait, that no. everything is going to rip apart. <laughs> A great rip. A big rip. So, um, ahead, my, rip. my my idea uh, with gravity, and Kel and I have discussed this before, and I think we got to the point where we don't know who came up with the idea originally, but it's different from his, which he's going to go over, is that acceleration is gravity, and all that's happening is everything's accelerating out at the speed of gravity, which is why there's gravity. But it's, we don't notice we're moving away from each other, because we're not. It's part of the expansion. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't Whoa. think so. Okay. Everything is accelerating out everything from everything else at a certain speed, which is causing gravity because the bigger things accelerate faster than the smaller things, which cause more acceleration. I don't see why that would keep us on the surface of a planet if that's what's really happening. Because it's growing so fast, it's pushing us out <laughs> Only like if an the elevator. Only the of the universe were in the middle of our planet, and we know that that's not true. But that's just it. Relative to this planet, we're too yeah. far away from anything else for it to for us to notice yeah. the effects of it. I don't see how that works. Yeah, so. I know, because you're a bitch. All right, <laughs> yeah, totally. The first check the show notes. First, let me qualify. All, Joey, you're, for the all you're hearing is a series of mouth queefs <laughs> right. coming yeah. out of here. My, I'm qualifying my what I'm about to say <laughs> in that this is just my thinking, and it is not a real theory yet. 
But I think it might be. It's a hypothesis. What I think is that what Daryl says is that everything is attracting everything else. But my, uh, my question was, why? Why is it doing mm -hmm. that? And I think what is going on and the reason everything is uh, attracting everything else is because the whole all matter is collapsing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every little bit of matter is collapsing into itself. And the more matter you get, oh, the yeah. more it collapses into itself. That's right. You had the opposite uh, view. Right. I thought everything expanded. Right. I think everything's collapsing. I'm extremely and so mad. When you get to the size of a yeah, galaxy, yeah. Yeah. it becomes so great Patriot. that light yeah. cannot escape because even light is being pulled in to that. And that's why even when you get a, I, I don't know, a microscopic... Uh, life form out in the middle of space, it still is, there's gravity there. And the reason is because each individual subatomic particle is collapsing in on itself. Mm. And that's what caused, pro I think, probably the Big Bang in the beginning is because everything collapsed down, collapsed down until finally they touched. But then and that's are, what caused the explosion of the universe. There are pretty solid theories of gravity waves, too. But yeah, and I, I think they're wrong. It's freaky to think that every... I <laughs> gravity guess, falls. This is one. I'm going to extend because okay. um, I find it really interesting to think it's about hard. how every subatomic particle, or you know, however low you want to break it down, has a gravitational effect <laughs> on low. every other particle in the yeah. universe. And when you think about that, that's you know, considering that you have essentially an infinite number of particles, you also have an infinite number of interactions between every particle and every other particle. And that makes me think about the universe as being. Um, some people have described the universe as just being information, like there's like a whole there's infinite squared amount of information. Not that that even makes sense, infinite squared, but there's that much information mm. in the universe that we always kind of think like, well, what if we can simulate a universe ourselves or whatever? But you can't contain the simulator inside of the universe. Like you would have to spill out into other universes to have the capacity to contain the information you need to simulate a universe. So you can only simulate a compartment. You know, like, you, you can simulate the solar system or something like that. Maybe you could eventually get the computational power to simulate all the particles in the solar system, but then that simulation is incomplete because you're not dealing with the interactions between all that matter and the matter in the rest of the universe. So I think that every simulation is always going to be a model well, and imperfect. What I think is going to be interesting is when... <laughs> Timer's not running. ...the information... <laughs> Uh, about the Higgs boson. Well, thing? talking about infinity, yeah. did you know that if you take all the numbers up through infinity and add them together, you get negative one twelfth? Yes. Because I, well, <laughs> I watched that video. Oh, okay. I probably got it from you. Well, no, no, wait, no. Yeah, what? That was interesting. My was really thinking interesting. of 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 gravity that I wanted to continue to explain is that it's like the flow of a river in, and it pulls everything else. Mm. As the more river there is, the greater its like pull is. And so I think that we're going to find that all of the forces, we're talking about this, uh, the great uh, atomic force, the, the small atomic force, and gravity, uh, magnetism, all of that, we're finding that they're combining. They're actually the same thing. What we're going to find, I think, is that when you get down, that gravity is going to be one of those things that is close to. And the reason is because now that they've discovered the Higgs boson and it's real, I think that's going to have a, a big impact on w what gravity really is and how we'll find out. True. Damn. Because that's okay. the boson um, imparts mass to exactly. things. Exactly. Mass is obviously. That's really why I'm saying it's really going to. I'm excited to, f to hear some real scientists do some deep thinking yeah, about instead it. Instead of us. Not us. Instead <laughs> of us. Yeah. Gravity is because the world no, will spin. No, I'm waiting for them to right catch here. up with me. That's what oh, I'm waiting right? for. Okay. Yeah, because I'm right. I'm always right. <laughs> yeah. Just well, ask I my wife if that's true. It's um. <laughs> Yeah, but that was You'll a pretty good question, by then. the way, Joey. Because like, like many good questions, it opens up the door. I'm to glad a lot you of said Joey because it was Cal's question. Oh, that was a really good <laughs> Thank question, Cal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, 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 Mark. <laughs> You grab Daryl's yeah. tits. Shit oh, happens. Oh. A moob grab. Oh my yeah. god. I wonder if that's what happens when Daryl's going wild. Hey, Daryl's gone wild. Hi, it's, it's on an angle the now. Gravity is kind of <laughs> okay. in the world. And Joey and I are oh, on our god. side. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>
was all lopsided. We're okay. okay. <laughs> kind of like Daryl's boobs. I was just gonna say. Thank you. <laughs> I'd cheers you if you had a horse. Anyways. Oh my god. So my, this my, is a good idea for an episode. Ask first, questions. My first question. Hey, hey, he's your he's your ship's question person. Okay, my first your question is why did Daryl forget his uh, question and not write it down? Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, actually, quite seriously, but I came up with an alternative that okay. I'm afraid is a little more weak. But, I mean, I seriously forgot what Go my ahead, question say, was. We'll see if it's weak. I think I had a good one, too. But What is it? We'll see um, if it's weak. My question is, why even bother with technology? Weak. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, okay. My well, other one was better. Because right? it's cool. We've gone through this in, a, in another uh, podcast that... What does I'm that kidding. mean? No, Why even bother no, with that technology? Like, what does that mean? But I mean, like, like, like the I basic technology could be like a hammer. Okay. I mean, that's technology. Yes. Right. Like what? 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 Form of technology. Yeah. Okay. What, 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 what? What do you mean by why technology? Okay. Why, what I mean by why even bother with technology is that um, it seems like the goal of technology is to make life easier for mm-hmm. everybody, right? So we advance. I would level say to easier. Level. I'd say better. 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 To improve the quality of life. Yeah. yeah. You think the but, hammer made things better. But okay, eventually, better. we wind Not up... Not for the nail. But, you know, it's... <laughs> or Dr. Horrible. That was Speaking of another technology, <laughs> was. it's definitely a double-edged sword because we have a downside we to our new technology. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, when, when we invent stuff, we want to invent better stuff and better stuff. And it seems like this kind of, like, never-ending cycle. And then it also complicates our lives because, you know, can we honestly say that life is simpler now than it was 30 years ago or go back 100 years? Yeah. You know, because... Yeah. That's yeah. why I say it's well, not think simpler. Think about an agrarian life. life. Was you, know, you had to, You basically than... had to farm, you know? Now if you want to be a farmer, you have to, you know, invest in high-end fertilizers, but, yeah, chemicals, yeah. pesticides. But but that's and, just it. It's, it's just a change of reference because yeah. it, if, if you were that's to farm like mean. you did before and you learned it from your, your pops... Pa- pape. Right. I think it's called father. Yes, that one. <laughs> and uh, then, then it would be easy. But that's the same thing as saying, like, well, take someone from the farming world and bring them here and say, here's a computer, go. You know, they haven't learned it, so they're not going to know. Where's the Annie key? I would much rather <laughs> do what I'm doing now than be on some right farm, here. even if I had all the ability to do it. Have you lived on a farm? They might be giant. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, 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 I personally believe... That okay. technology is just the next step of our evolution, and it's like any change, things have you have to get used to it. All right. And I think that things today are incredibly easier than they ever have been before, or maybe the better way to say it is, wherever we are is what we're used to, and therefore it's the best the way things Hi, are. Linda. I think it opens up new opportunities for yeah. for the race to to evolve as, as humans. And I mean, you just think about like. How easy it is now for like us I to do this, hand, and if right. we try to do this I back when we were in high school, it yeah. would just it wouldn't work. We'd have to have a yeah, actual we'd be radio like station. Yeah, we mailing cassette tapes. To yeah. 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 yeah, we want to hear our mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly well, us talking. I think, I think technology <laughs> has and does make our lives better. Yeah. Not necessarily easier. Like and, I, and I'm really interested in in my life being easier. I want my life to be better. Mm-hmm. And I, I like think that. that technology helps make our lives better, much better. All right. And I guess, you know, since we're supposed to offer a definitive answer to this, this one was a little more of a, you know, like, you, you're all, there's no correct answer, I think. You know, but, what? But why we... <laughs> bitch! But my no opinion on why we um, bother with technology is that generally it does improve the quality of life. It um, <laughs> Damn it. extends, I guess. Tech. You're used your you used one oh, already, wait. so I can't extend my own answer. <laughs> well, I'll here. extend right. it for you. Go ahead. Thanks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Since so, I grabbed your boob, your moves. Yeah, yeah I'm not the <laughs> camera with force over. too. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so better than water. He grabbed it with keyboard. force. <laughs> yeah. So we um, milk. It, I think that there's the <laughs> downside though is that things do become overly complicated. Like we have this huge bureaucracy, and you know when you think about. Um, <clears throat> Like, government is kind of like a technology, right? Um, and I think government gets more complicated, and so do things like rules of how things are supposed to be done. And we wind up with everything being micromanaged by a series of laws and regulations and stuff like that. So in one way, it makes life easier in that we don't have to struggle behind a, a plow anymore. But before plows, we you know, what was agriculture before that? It was manual labor without tools. Mm. Must Picking berries. Rough. And... I think that my point about <laughs> twigs and twigs and berries, <laughs> a change in complexity, cash is that I think we wind up with a lot of stress in our lives. <laughs> twigs and berries, cash and prizes. Because it, 
Even though euphemisms for genitalia. Keep going, Daryl. Even though things become, <laughs> uh, you know, like a little easier through technology, Cash I think that prices. we also wind up with a <laughs> layer of complexity See? on top of everything, and more stress because we're trying to keep up with everything. You know, like before you know it, your taxes are due, and you got to like make sure that all your finances are in order. You have to make sure that all the bills I are think, paid. You have yeah. to, you know, like technology leads to all this stuff that complicates our lives and adds stress. However, without technology, you have a lot of stress of just purely surviving. You know, like, of, you're going to catch some sorry. disease that might kill you at an <coughs> early age. You, you're going to be running away from wild animals trying to eat you and stuff like that. So I was just thinking technology that is good, but it has its point of order, side. point of order. We watched a film in Mrs. Wheeler's class, sixth grade, about the invention of machines and computers it extends really quick. Okay. We're we supposed to have all this time. <laughs> you don't get the rules. You can't modern, extend really modern man extend really is, quick. has more time than he has ever Who's had. The host here, right? You know, because no, machines. Because we're not. We're blah, 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 blah. What are we doing with this time? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So what? Wait, wait. I was gonna say let's, let's give let's give Eddie who has his why. Left. Go ahead. What's okay. your why question? Uh, for what? You can, can ask a why question. question. I can ask a why question. And if you'd like, you can continue on to this. Okay, but yeah, rant. what were sub- <laughs> what were we supposed to do with all that time? We're supposed to have all this time, but we don't anymore. We have less. Yeah. But actually, there's 24 hours. So but we make a my, podcast. And my so. question is, my question is, if if that's not why. Yes. If why 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 <laughs> why not why not invent a microwave fireplace. That way you could sit in front of it for the entire m- night in under eight minutes. <laughs> Dude, that would have um, yes. that would have sped up the storyline in Gremlins. <laughs> so, hmm. I like that. That's There's very, some um, logical problem with that. Yeah. Uh, I think like, the reason why we don't let's spend two minutes be, trying probably, to figure it out. Probably, probably the lethal. same problem. The, the why you don't put live that. things into a microwave? Yeah, because they yes. tend to explode. As South Park pointed out in their classic episode mm-hmm. um your balls will 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 grow grow to the size of <laughs> um, bouncy balls bouncy balls big bounce, but then big you will balls. be eligible for medical marijuana yes but then you go yes. <laughs> i bought some used yeah. okay uh, it was in the shape of a house <laughs> Can we Anyways, skip? Then we used to do skip. I bought a used Don't worry. <laughs> He's He's running, running out. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so, my question is, wait, why no, did I... we let Eddie do this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what happened to all of our time that we're supposed to have with all these machines and all these computers and everything? It said so in the, in the late 60s, according to that thing we saw in the 80s. Yeah. I so think we just happens. come more It was productive? the evil corporation. I think we've got more time. I think we've got more time. I think we've got more time. I think that... It's just right. a way of life. Finally. That was pretty good. That was good. Because we don't know. All right, let's finish up. That's good. The big question. You know what? You, you can take my feel of Daryl's kit and you can have... Oh, my gosh. The big question. Yeah! Get off of that! Yes! Why? Uh, uh, I am not here for your pleasure. <laughs> Moobs will <laughs> last <Okay. day. laughs> Guys, we got to continue. On to the big question. Why, Why? are Daryl's tits here for our pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it was! Oh, thanks for reminding me. That was a good flick, man. All that right. felt good. <laughs> All right. All right. What are we here for outside of Daryl's All of you in the balls. Nice swift kick. What is the universe for? <laughs> all right, I'll start. We'll move this way. Wait, Round what? Robin. I think that uh, <laughs> all the only way to answer this is is to do what we always do, which is model uh, the answer. And so, for me, the ultimate is in my head. I'm modeling the world in two ways. I'm modeling it for the moment. That means where I am right now, and I'm modeling it to give it meaning. So my entire reason for living is to give meaning to the world and experience the moment. Eddie. Nice. Whoa, that was. That's a that's fortune really cookie, man. Yeah. That's really good. I have my supremely nihilistic view, which is that we're not here for a purpose at all. We mm-hmm. just happened, and we continue to happen fortuitously, by chance. The other aspect is that we really don't know yet. It's an ongoing process, and we have yet to discover why we're here. So, okay. in the meantime, it's a journey. Nice. nice. And the journey is uh, to Daryl's right? tits. The value of a journey gotta, is go ahead. Follow that. <laughs> follow that follow well, what are we here for? Why are we here? Um, <laughs> I don't think we. I don't have an answer for that. I, I kind of agree with Eddie. Like we're we're here by chance, um, not by any big someone's. You godless meaning. heathens. Yes, but uh, <laughs> why we're here? Why I'm here myself? Uh, I think, or why we're all here is to contribute 
um, positive to positively to the community. Positivity. Positivity to the community, um, to our evolution. Are you and reading the secret on your yeah, laptop? Yeah. The, <laughs> the secret. <laughs> the secret garden. It's made for a man. Bob Proctor. No, strong enough for. Never mind. Yes. I'm not advertising. Unless you want to pay. All me. right, we saw two people to get to. Go ahead, well, go. Go. well, um. I kind of like what you guys have been saying about it, except but you're wrong. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> but you're wrong, and I'm right. Hey, Kale said he's always right, Linda. <laughs> and we are still. Except, but ask my. And wife. we are interrupting him anyway. So. Yeah, so it's it's par for the course. Yeah. The thing is, is that I don't think it's chance. And that it's evolution, and evolution is not chance. Evolution always builds on itself and builds on what works, and because of that, it is evolution. That is happening in our in our world and our lives, and I'm not sure if ultimately it will bring us to a purpose for the universe. But the purpose of the universe is to evolve, and that's what it is. And um, I'm going to quote Carl Sagan here because we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. And I find that oh, that's to be cool because really... we're part of the cosmos, <laughs> right? I find it really interesting because like life. Um, as it exists, whether it's only here or spread throughout the universe, it's the way that the universe can actually think about things. Because there's, you know, without life, there's no comprehension that we know of, right? And um, that brings up another question that if we do a sequel to this episode, I would probably want to ask, what is intelligence? Or maybe we would have a what episode, right? What? what? Intelligence. Ah. No, I don't what? think we should have what episode. What? Every single We question. should have a what the fuck. It, it should be. What? what? Motherfucker. But the, but think about it though. It's like Time cool. when you think about the uh, connectome of our brains. It's like the the structure of it. Oh, Go ahead, uh, Paul. Extend, extend him. Extend. My Thank friend. you, sir. So the connectome is how things are arranged. Right. I'm getting but, out of the way of that. One. Yeah. There could be intelligent <laughs> arrangements of a lot of other things. Right. Um, like Paul's think plants so and. Um, you know, maybe the planets and, and the galaxies have some sort of intelligence that we're just not aware of because mm -hmm. we're not able to see the big picture of it. Or all. what do they always say? We are the universe trying to ex understand itself. Okay, that was yeah. his whole thing. That was, yeah. that was the Carl Sagan quote. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what did Daryl just say? Uh, something that <laughs> What Kale does Daryl say? It's <laughs> Well, another, is, another, perspective, another perspective that I just realized is that we've had legions of, of human doom. beings of human beings thinking about things. Meanwhile, at the legion of human beings thinking about things. <laughs> I think we already have. You know, we talk about extra dimensions and we talk about, we talk about the nature of the universe. I think that if, if we were to use our brain power to think about that individually, no, 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 no. we would come to the same answers that they have. Yeah. You know? Cause I, and I brought this up to, to uh, Mike. You know, mm -hmm. we have people who've known about, you know, um, samsara, life after death, continuation of it, more than one Big Bang, these weird concepts. <laughs> I've seen that movie. These, more these than weird one concepts Bang. that, you know. More than one Big Bang! <laughs> <laughs> he made me do it. I quit. The, no. <laughs> but yeah, no, the point is, if you think about it, it'll come to you, but it requires work. You need to devote your brain power to that instead of bills, instead of farming for potatoes. Last question: well, Why the, don't I wear a bra? The true, the true reason I we're think here. Shower my hands the, now. The, the true reason we're here is to touch Daryl's tits. Yes, tits! Come on! <laughs> no, I wanted to touch the John ball. No, come on. Struck the bottle. <laughs> okay, I got my own. So, are our nice life. neck. Um, These are the so yeah, I think it's hard lives. to find you know like an actual meaning for why everything's here, but eh. why not? Why Ladies and gentlemen, we have yeah. a very moment. By, by the way, everyone, that was words to the wise, W H Y S. Thank you, Daryl. That was excellent. Yes, thank you, Daryl. Thank you very, thank you, very guys. much. Um, so, so no thanks thank for all the awesome. boob touching. We have a very momentous <laughs> no, occasion you. coming up. Next week will be our fiftieth episode. Kale, it is your choice. It has landed on you. Is that the it's like you got forty-two. What the hell? Yeah. So what is your choice, Mr. Man, for next week? Well, I think it's appropriate. We're going to extend to sex. Oh, no We're going to talk about, about sex. We never talk, about, talk about, about sex, baby. Hey, let's talk about, about you and me. No, no, not you. No, no, no. Not Yeah, Daryl. Oh, no. Daryl. Oh, no. no, no, no. no, no. yeah, no. no. <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about all the different types of nice. uh, sex. And what it's about. I'm and being how you can be better at it. And how you can improve it. Do the recording! Oh my god! Dude, it was just a 
a deer fart. I was looking at Linda like, Linda, what the hell? <laughs> she doesn't have a control. Yeah. Just a deer fart. Anyway, yeah. Okay, guys, you can always reach us at uh, show at iamrambling.com. But isn't that in Michigan? Sex Michigan? No, deer fart. <laughs> deer fart <laughs> Michigan. It's right next to the Pontiac Factory. Okay. Right. Please email yeah, us. By the way, I love how Eddie raises the conversation around here. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Raising? Yes. Cheers. I'm Joey Shamel. I'm Ed's editorial. I'm Paul Hunter. K.L. Anderson. Daryl George. Sex. And remember, we're incoherent. Yes. So please. you don't, don't have, have to. to. Me. <laughs> She's back. Ski yeah, gas and going home. Ski <laughs> gas. I no. have to go home. <laughs> Me too. I am out. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish.